In this lesson, let's talk about the Newton-Raphson method. This is another open method sa pagkuha ng roots. Now, ito yung equation niya. Yung new value ng x is equal to the old value minus the ratio ng function value at saka yung, yung value ng derivative doon sa old value ng x. Now, i-derive natin yan. Anong meaning yan? No? Anong ibig sabihin nung, nung equation na yan? So, it comes from the definition of a slope is equal to the rise over the run. Tingnan natin dito, no? Meron akong unang value ng x. So, this is the old value of x. Ito yung function value niya. And then, gagawa ako ng tangent line. So, yung slope ng tangent line na to, yun yung slope na, na, na nandito. At kung saan siya mag-intersect sa x-axis, yun yung magiging value ng new x ko. So, slope. Ano ba yung slope ng tangent line? Of course, the slope is the first derivative. At that point, so x old. Kwal sa rise. So from 0 hanggang x old. Uh, yung function value niya, yung x old. Ganyan. Over. Yung run. So from x old at saka x new. Yung run nito, yung distance na to, is actually x old minus x New. Rearranging, so we have first derivative ng x old, doing the algebra, no? Times x old minus x new equals f of x old. Dividing by the first derivative, so x old minus the new value of x is f x old over f prime x old. And, pag nilipat mo yung value ng method dito, get x old minus yung ratio na yon over tong derivative equals x new. And you will get yung equation natin for the newton Raphson method. Okay? So, pag tinuloy-tuloy mo yan, so, ito na yung maging bagong x mo. Kuha ka dito ng function. Kunin yung tangent line yung value of x, and so on, hanggang makuha mo yung root natin. Again, ito yung Newton-Raphson method. So, gawa tayong example. Example, again, ito na naman yung function natin. We have uh, x squared minus x minus 1. F prime x is 2x minus 1. So, ang maging equation natin is whatever is the new x is equal to the old x minus fx. So, x squared minus x minus 1 over yung derivative na 2x minus 1. So, lahat to in terms of the old values of x. So, kanya na lang. Okay? So, first iteration. Let's say, uh, manghula tayo. Let's say x is equal to 1. So, x is equal to 1. Substitute mo dito. Yung new value ng x is equal to 1 minus 1 squared minus 1 minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus 1. So, yung new value ng x, the new value of x is equal to 2. Then, again, substitute natin. So, this is the first iteration, value of x. And x new is equal to 2 minus, sa so substitute lang natin, no, yung bagong value ng x. And you will get, or x for the third iteration is 1.667. So, x4 is 1.619 and so on hanggang makuha natin yung x is 1.618 similar doon sa mga previous answers natin doon sa ibang uh, lessons so ganun yung uh, newton Raphson method so para rin tong fixed point iteration in a sense na ito yung x tapos etong value na to ito yung of x. Parang fixed point iteration lang siya. Pero special lang yung pagkuha nung or yung pag-derive nung uh, g of x. Okay? Yun yung special sa kanya. Yung g of x ko is this uh, expression. So let's have another example. So ito na yung mga values ko. So pag let's say x is equal to 0. Muna, paano ba yung equation? So, yung new value ng x ko is x minus f of x, e raised to negative x minus x, over yung derivative negative e raised to x minus 1. So, pag sinabstitute mo yung 0 dito, 
uh, x sub n is equal to 0 minus e raised to 0 minus 0. So 1. Negative e raised to negative 0 minus 1. So yung para sa first iteration, ang makukuha kong sagot ay 0 0.5. And again, ulitin ko lang ng uulitin. No? For the second one, 0 0.5. Substitute mo lang dito sa equation natin. And you will get negative uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 over. And you will get x sub 3. Is 0 0.5671 and so on. And you will get this value. 0 0.5671. So, nag-converge na sa, sa pangalawang substitution pala. So, ganun. Ganun yung newton rapson method. It's like a fixed point iteration, pero ito lang yung gagamitin mong formula. Kailangan mo lang kunin yung derivative nung function natin. So, tignan natin kung paano natin implement sa isang spreadsheet yung newton rapson method. So, ito yung example natin kanina, x squared minus x minus 1. Uh, nakalagay na dito yung mga kailangan nating mga sagot. So, unlike sa open, sa bracketing methods, yung open methods walang ano, Walang condition for sign change. Okay? Substitute lang ng substitute. So, f of x, substitute lang natin dito. Okay? Equal yan sa x uh, squared minus yung value ng x minus 1. f prime x equal yan sa twice ng value ng x minus 1. Okay? Uh, yung new value ng x, so this is the second iteration, no? Second iteration. Yung new value ng x equal yan doon sa old value minus divide mo tong dalawang to fx at saka f prime x same formula natin okay so that comes out as 2 and we drag down so for the relative error kung alala nyo yung dating ano ito yung equation nya so new value of x minus old value of x divided by the new value of x times 100 so naka percent na siya dito Okay, then drag down, let's say mga 5 iterations. So 5 iterations pa lang, napakababa na ng relative error. No? Mabilis mag-converge yung newton rapson method as long na mag-converge siya, mabilis. Okay? So ito na yung value, 1.610. Now, paano mo makuha yung isa pang root, yung isang negative? Di ba negative 0.618 yun? So gagawa ka ng panibagong assumption sa x. Dito, in ko 1. Let's say negative 1. Pag... Tinabsitute ko is a negative value. Makuha ko yung isa pang root. So, sa newton Rapson method, makuha mo yung iba-ibang roots as long as yung unang initial value mo is malapit or nandoon sa vicinity nung hinahanap mong root. Pag, pag zero, makuha mo yung negative. Pag two, makuha mo yung positive ng root niya. And mabilis siyang mag-converge. Okay, ito yung example na ginawa ko. Nung sa written. So, yun. So, ang sagot natin is 0.561. Gawin natin dito sa Excel. So, substitute. E raised to the negative of x minus value ng x. Ito naman is negative. E raised to the value of x minus 1. At yung bagong value ng x is the old value of x minus yung yung quotient ng fx at saka f prime x. Okay? Tag down mo lang to. Gawin natin ulit yung relative error natin. So, say, 5 iterations. Yan. Mga 5 iterations lang, may kita mo na halos sakto na talaga yung value natin. 0.56714 at 0 na yung value ng function natin. So, this is how you do newton rapson method using Excel. Uh, let's have another example, a more complicated example. And, of course, uh, nakadepende yung success mo sa newton rapson method sa pagkuha mo ng derivative. So, kailan marunong kang kumuha ng derivative. So, in this example, nakabigay ng derivative. It's this value. Okay? So, substitute natin dito. Equal sa sine. Okay? The sine of an angle. Okay? The number must be... Uh, teka. 
Kailangan ba naka-degree? No? So, di, sa Excel, naka-radian yung number. So, tama lang to. Naka-radian. Square root pala, no? Ah, square root. Minus uh, B. Okay. Dapat ipamiliarize natin yung sarili natin sa mga functions. Ang Excel, may kita mo naman yun sa formulas. And then, yung more functions, maraming function yan, basahin nyo na lang. Okay? Uh, how about yung value nung derivative? This is equal to the quotient ng cosine ng square root value nung x divided by times the square root value nung x which is nasa b6 minus 1. So, ito, dali na lang to. This is the old value of x minus yung quotient nung fx at saka f prime x. Then, after that, pag na-set up mo na yung mga equations, drag down mo lang sila. And, again, kunin natin yung absolute error. Drag down mo lang sila. Then, mag-automatic na yan. Value of... Uh, X or yung root niya is 0.768 Like me video kung ayos Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike Leave ka ng comment kung bakit ha? Sige na, subscribe